Afternoon guys, this is uh, Palm for Pro Box Respect here with uh, Joel Walker or the incredible Joel. How are you fella, you alright? Yeah, good mate, nice to see you. Yeah, nice, yeah, nice to see you too. Viewers, if anybody doesn't know, this is the uh, this is the younger brother of Luke Walker who I interviewed yesterday, uh, the firefighter, Kent firefighter. Um, Joel's into uh, personal training. He's the younger brother, but as you can see, he's a, he's a big guy. So uh, Joel, um, How's, uh, how's your day going? Yeah, good. Yeah, very well. I'm glad the, uh, glad the old son's out stuff at last. Thank yeah, you. definitely, definitely. Listen, um, just want to say thanks for taking uh, taking the time out to uh, no see me today because I know uh, you haven't got long now. Uh, two days for your fight. Two days, that's it, yeah. yeah. Just, just preparing for it, yeah, mentally and physically. Yeah. Well, you've always, uh, you've always been uh, physically uh, strong. Um, as I said to the guys yesterday, and, uh, you know, we've sparred. I know you're a strong guy. Uh, meaty left hand as well. I like Which I, thing, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, I, as you know, I felt, I felt it before, so uh, I know, I know you can punch, mate. So, um, have you been doing anything different for this fight uh, at yeah. all? Well, obviously, um, coming from a gym background, I've been uh, into weights a lot. So, all I've been doing for the last few years has been training to build muscle, and obviously now the fight's coming up. It's my first fight, so um, I do understand that you need to lose weight when you fight. So, all the years I've been trying to build and gain weight. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't go against me, but um, for the last couple of weeks I have been training to try and lose a bit of weight, trying to sweat out a bit as well. Um, and my, my training has changed massively since, I mean this week I haven't been doing any weights at all. Um, yeah. Which is hard for me because obviously I'm, I'm used to doing that. So yeah, I've just been uh, doing a lot of cardio, been a lot on the bag, a lot of sparring as well, pad work, a lot of footwork as well. Um, it's what I think I need to improve on most. Um, well, you're looking good, so looking very fit. So are you hoping to go in at a certain weight, mate, or what? Um, well, I think when, I, when, when we first weighed in to, um, to, to try and match up who we're going to be against weight-wise, yeah. um, I think I was around 14 stone and I'm now sitting at about 13, 8. Okay, nine, that's so good. I've lost, um, but so obviously, yeah, it just depends on the night. I mean, if he's done the same thing, I don't know. So, you know, um, hopefully he's done the same thing because I don't want to be going up against someone who's going to be heavier than me because obviously he can pack a punch as well. Yeah, of course, um, yeah. just depends. Do you know much about your opponent, mate? No, literally, all I've got is a name. Oh really? No, nothing about it. No. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, if he's the same weight as me, he could be tall and skinny. He could be short and fat, or he might be, he might be a meathead. So that's <laughs> a bummer. So you can't even YouTube it or Google, no, Google this I've, guy. Me, I've, tried to, I've tried to stop on Facebook. Trust me. I think, I think, <laughs> he's probably blocked you. I think these people have their privacy on, don't they? On their absolutely, absolutely. So. Uh, a bit from obviously I know from uh, from your brother yesterday, Luke. Uh, they're three by one minute rounds, mate. That's it. Yeah, one minute yeah. rounds, one minute rest. Just hope it's enough. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, mate. But, uh, yeah. I don't expect you to give your tactics away, but is there anything that you can a small insight you can give us? What's um, uh, for for the fight? Just to have to wait to round three, see what happens. Yeah. If he's not knocked out before then. Yeah. You know yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so third round could be a could be a spectacular one. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. we know it's uh, actually for a great cause. It's called uh, Demelza. Um, right. yeah, yeah. It's a charity. Um, are you expecting a expecting a big turnout on Friday? Yeah, me and Luke together, we probably we probably sold, I'd say, thirty four tickets. Wow. Um, which is a good turnout. I mean, considering it's our first fight as well. I think absolutely. It's probably, probably why, because it is our first fight. You know, I'm gonna want to get. A lot of supporters as well and got a lot of family people, and friends going yeah, along a lot yeah people are going to want to come and watch us as well for our first fight yeah um i hope it's i hope we don't you know i hope it's not too many for our first fight because in case we shy ourselves up but i'm, I'm all confident i know luke's confident as well absolutely um I think, we, I think we do well. I think we do well, mate. Listen, uh, first fight's never easy, and and uh, you know even at professional level. So mm. I think you guys, uh, it's a great cause. You're doing a great thing as well, and you know you're both physically very fit. So um, you know it's, it's it's sometimes it's about technique, but it's also about the learning as well. So yeah. um, hopefully you guys do both do well. And uh, what's uh, any plans for after this one? So if you really enjoy it, what, do you reckon there could be more fights coming out? Yeah, I, I think that, I mean, I'm enjoying the training at the moment, what I'm doing, I've changed that up. So yeah. obviously where I was doing a lot of weights, so I enjoyed that, but what I'm doing at the moment, don't get me wrong, it's hard. I think boxing training is the hardest type of training you can ever do. Yeah. Um, just for the last last week or so that I've been doing it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be getting out, I'll be sleeping. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can I can feel myself catching the bug for it. So just watch this space, you know? Absolutely. And uh, I know you know a lot 
of the uh, local guys too. Uh, you know, you've uh, you've trained at Signets and Cascades mm. before. Um, is there anybody that you want to say a, a quick big up to who've uh, who've been sort of helping you along the way and supporting you? Just um, just everyone who's bought the tickets at the time and obviously took the money out to, to donate as well. Yeah. Obviously get the support. Um, yeah. No, I just want to thank everyone. So yeah, Perfect. No, it's going to be a good night. Perfect. Good night. So uh, listen, uh, you know the big guns are looking well. You're looking well. Um, and again, finally, guys, for anybody who's interested in going along, please, please go along. It's a great cause, the Kent Interfire Services. Um, doors open about six or six thirty. Yeah, I think it's six. Um, we're going to get there a bit earlier. I want to do a little bit of free training. Nothing too okay. early. Okay. Dickenswell, Chatham, right? Yeah, Dickens this well. coming Friday. Yep. Yeah, guys. Muay Thai, K1 and boxing all for 20 quid. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be big, it's going to be big. Yeah, and listen, Joel Walker, he's, uh, he's going to do well, Luke Walker as well. So guys, uh, just finally mate, good luck for Friday and uh, thanks for giving me the, uh, the yeah, time thanks, today. Yeah, thanks nice one. Cheers, all right mate, mate. take you. care. Viewers, all the best and uh, get down to Dickens World on Friday. Bye bye.